What is up guys? In this short episode I'm just going to go over how to change the tempo of a sample without changing the pitch of it. I know this is something I had trouble with when I was first starting out, but there's a little trick inside of FL Studio that once you know it, it's easy. So let's jump right into it. So I'm going to use one of my drum samples just because I know the BPM of it, and that is a little important. You're going to need to know the BPM of your sample going into this. So we'll bring it into our playlist. And as you can see, even just by looking at it, our drums and the peaks do not line up with our beats. Now, usually your first reaction is to come here to highlight stretch and then drag it down to where you would want it, you know, to where they all line up. And yes, you can do this, but if you listen back now, it's actually heightened the pitch of the sample, not only just sped it up. So the easiest way to fix this, so I'll get rid of this, purge unused audio clips to get rid of it, redrag it in, and if we come up here and click our sample menu button, there's a fit to tempo option. All we have to do is click this, and there is there will be an estimated tempo if you don't know exactly what it is, but it's not that accurate. As you can see, it's almost 2 BPM off here. So down here we can type in BPM and 1 45 enter and now it's lined it up perfectly with our beats and if we listen back it hasn't changed the pitch of the sample at all and that's exactly what we want it also works for vocals too so i'm going to come down to a vocal sample that we have are you ready uh, i think skrillex used that before and we'll come up to the sample menu. Like I said before, fit to tempo, same as before. Type it in, 140 this time. Let's line it up. And when we listen... Are you ready for the rough next sound? Are you ready for the rough next sound? Are you ready for the rough next sound? Come again with the baseline sound. Nice, so now we have two samples that are perfectly synced with each other, even though one was originally 145 and the other's 140, and they both met at 160. So I know this was a super short video, but thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in the next one. My trap tutorials are not done yet. I will be continuing those with a few more episodes, and then I will be starting up a dubstep tutorial series very soon, and then a bass house series. I'll get into more sound design within Massive and Serum. I just want to thank everyone who has donated to my Patreon so far. Uh, I can't believe it. Uh, you're helping so much in my life, and I hope I'm helping you in some way. So I will see you guys in the next video. Peace!